Hi everyone, I'm Beth, and today I'm going to take you through a quick sideline series using the minivan. You can always do this workout without the minivan if you don't have one, but if you have one, go ahead and grab it, and then we're going to take it over, thread our legs through, and we're actually going to take that minivan above our knees. So onto your thighs, and then let's go ahead and come down onto our side. So whenever we do a sideline series, we want to make sure that our hips are stacked, our shoulders are stacked, and those bottom obliques are pulling up and in. So you don't want to rest on your mat. Now, I usually take my head all the way down. Some people like to prop it up, so it's really a personal preference here. We're going to start with our legs at that 90 degree angle. So again, you want to make sure that you're not leaning back or you're not leaning forward, okay? I use my front arm as my kickstand, but you want to keep it from coming up to your ear. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is actually take our legs long. Sorry. We're going to start with our legs nice and long. You can have them slightly in front of you. And then we're going to go ahead and just lift and lower. So as we lift that leg, we're going to stop before it comes all the way down. So we lift it above hip height, and then we stop right at that hip height. Good. So we're going to point our toes to start. Excellent. So pulling the belly in pulling the bottom obliques off of your mat. And now let's flex those feet. Excellent. So already you should start to maybe feel this. If you're not feeling it, just check to make sure the hips are stacked. Next one, you're gonna hold it up and pulse it up. So we're gonna pulse one inch up, one inch down, and just make sure that you're not rocking or rocking forward or back, but also that you're not just sort of bouncing up and down, but that you feel the deliberate movement up and down. Now hold it right there, little circles. Keep it lifted, little circles, just moving that hip in the hip socket. I can definitely feel this, I hope you can too. And then reverse it. Good. All right, hold it right there. We're gonna go ahead now and bend those knees. So keep that top leg just above that lower leg. You're in that 90 degree angle. Hips are still stacked. I want you to take the top leg one inch forward, one inch back. Maybe it's about two or three inches actually. Forward and back. So keeping the heel and the knee on the same plane, just this little micro movement. Excellent. Keep going. Now, just pulse it forward, forward, forward. Good. You've got it. Just that leg is moving. Check back in just to make sure that you haven't started to punch up your shoulders. Good. Now get those knees back in line with each other. Close it and open it. Close and open. So good. It is burning. Good job, you guys. Keep breathing. Keep the chest open. You can do it. Few more here. Good. Next one, you're going to hold it up. You're going to take that knee and rotate it, and then the heel. Knee rotates, internal rotation, external rotation, internal, external. This is so important for healthy hips. Ooh, we're going to feel this one. You got it. Keep going. Nice job. All right, we've got one more exercise. You're gonna bring those heels together. You're gonna to shift them back. We're gonna close and open without wrapping off those hips and open. Right here, targeting right here. Feels so good. It's burning, but it's a good burn. Nice. Really nice job. You got it. Keep going. All right, hold it out there, pulse it up, and up, and up. You can do it. We're almost there. So close. Last five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, tap it out. Wow, that really hurt. That was so quick, but it hurt. It was effective, which is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and rotate ourselves over to the other side. And you don't want to be doing something for hours on end if you can do something in a few minutes 
and get awesome results. So come on down. Let's take those legs just slightly in front of us. Find that nice line, and then you can fit that hand underneath if you're pulling up. See how I pulled up and those obliques come up. All right, so front arm or top arm is my kickstand. I'm gonna go ahead and lift and lower just to hip height. We're gonna point those toes to start. So it's an up and lower and up and lower. So belly pulls in, top arm relaxes, but holds you sort of in the right place there. Hips on top of each other, shoulders on top of each other. Good. All right, let's flex those feet. So we have to make ourselves even. So we'll do the same series on this side. And we'll give ourselves a little stretch and we'll be good to go. All right, next one, you're gonna hold it up, pulse it up. You can do it. Good, this is gonna feel so great when we're done. You got it. Pull that belly in, make sure you're right on top of those hips. Now little circles, little circles. So not a lot of rocking with the back of the body or the upper body, it's just that lower body and reverse it. So good. Ooh, I can feel it, I hope you can too. Now it, you'll probably feel it quicker on this side because our legs are getting fatigued. All right, hold it right there. We're gonna go ahead and bend those legs into that 90 degree angle. All right, from here, we're gonna take it forward and back and forward. So just keep that heel and knee on the same plane. And it just comes in and out and in and out. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you relax your shoulder so it's not up by your ear. You got it. Hold it forward, pulse it forward, forward. Think about the forward movement. Ooh, birdie, 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 not the backwards movement. So good. You can do it. Last five, four, three, two, one. Okay, from here, I can't remember the order we did it in. So we're gonna go internal, external, internal, external. Doesn't really matter as long as we do all of them. So it's that internal rotation, that external rotation. So good. Really nice job, you guys. Keep it up. Stay with me here. I'm going to burn it out. You can do it. Last five, four. Get that rotation. Move those hips. Three, two, last one. Okay, good. We're going to lower it and open and lower. So our book openers here, Ooh, it's hard, but you're motivating me to keep going. I'm not gonna stop, you can do this. Good, just don't relax onto that mat. Keep pulling up those bottom obliques. Last five, four, three, two, the last one, good. Take those heels together, shift them back. Here we go, we're gonna close it and open it and close. So I definitely don't have the same range of opening that I have on the other side. Ooh, could be that my hips are fatigued or definitely could be that this left side of mine is tighter than my right, not a big deal. All of this is good to keep those hips healthy and keep this movement and mobility and flexibility in my hips. All right, we've got five, four, three, I'm shaking, two, you're going to hold this next one up, last move, back, 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 good, little pulse, pulse, open it, open it. I know it doesn't seem like I'm moving very much, but I am trying. Last six, five, Four, three, two, last one. Go ahead and lower those legs, tap it out. Wow, that was amazing, you guys. That was so hard. Okay, let's bring ourselves up. That was so quick too. Under 10 minutes, we got our workout in. That's crazy. All right, but we definitely have to stretch those legs. So take those legs out in front of you. 
bring one across, sit up nice and tall, and then bring it to the shoulder with the other arm. So you want to get this stretched out. This is a great piriformis stretch. We're also going to stretch our glutes. Look over that shoulder. Good, let's do that on the other side. Bring it across, sit up nice and tall. Closer you are towards that chest with that knee, you're going to really feel it. Excellent. All right, come back. Let's do that figure four stretch. So just come on down, take it slow, and then take that foot across. Open up that knee so that the hips open. And then go ahead and bring the legs in towards the chest. You're going to feel it right back there in that glute. Keep the chest open. So notice how I have it rounded forward or brought my shoulders up. All right, let's switch out those legs. Cross that other leg over. That was fun, you guys. Open up that knee. All right, bring those legs in towards the chest. Oh man, I feel that. This one's gonna take a little while to release. So all those contractions that we were doing need to now get the extension or the stretch. That's why we do this. So don't just finish the workout, but really do. I mean, if you can't give yourself a great stretch right now or you need to get back to work, just maybe do a figure four stretch in your chair. Just give yourself a little bit of that extension. Good. All right, take those legs down. Maybe roll over onto your side and press yourself up. That was really great, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, check out the other videos on my YouTube channel and please subscribe.